Physical characteristics of tropical cyclones. The formation of tropical cyclones. Warm water generates the formation of tropical cyclones. Ocean temperatures must be at least 26.5 degrees Celsius. Over warm oceans, there is moist, humid air, also called water vapor. The warm air moves along the surface. The air converges and rises rapidly. Intense rising of air forms a low pressure system. As air rises, it cools, becomes saturated, and condenses. Water vapor condenses into liquid droplets, and you get the formation of thunderclouds. Condensation releases heat stored in water vapor. This latent heat warms the atmosphere, and air becomes lighter, causing strong updrafts. Air expands and converges at higher levels. It occurs only where wind speed and direction remain constant. No wind shear. Air moves in at the surface, taking the place of rising air. This intensifies the convergence. It creates wind and increases rising movement. It builds and progresses into a mature cyclone. The Coriolis effect. The spinning of Earth on its axis produces wind deflections called the Coriol Cor Coriolis effect. It causes rising air to spiral around the center. It spirals with great force. Winds are now rotating, rising, and moving into fill spaces. Wind speeds increase and cyclones grow. Northern hemisphere winds are blowing counterclockwise around the center core. Southern hemisphere winds are blowing clockwise around the center core. The parts of a cyclone. The eye is clear, calm center of the storm. Cool air descends into the center. The eye wall is the ring of thunderstorms close to the eye. It produces the most devastating winds. Rain bands are curved groups of clouds and thunderstorms. They travel away from the eye in a spiral motion. The 1970 Bola Cyclone. The 1970 Bola Cyclone was the deadliest tropical cyclone ever reported. It occurred on November 12, 1970 and developed over the Bay of Bengal. It gathered speed as it moved northward. It devastated East Pakistan, or now known as Bangladesh, and the West Bengal of India. It killed 300 to 500,000 people, and they put, the fatalities are due to a massive storm surge. The flood, it flooded the low-lying islands of Gagnes Delta. The wind speeds reached 115 miles an hour. The strength, of the, cat, it was, the strength was a Category 3 hurricane. The estimated damage was at $86.4 million.